North Korean's Hwasong-17 ICBM launch may have been fake. North Korea conducted its most powerful intercontinental ballistic missile test to date last week, it said it launched the Hwasong-17, its newest and biggest ICBM. In a propaganda blitz, the country's state media released a Hollywood-style video of its leader, Kim Jong-un, personally guiding the test launch in a sleek leather jacket and sunglasses at Pyongyang International Airport. In a report to the National Assembly on Tuesday, the South Korean Defense Ministry endorsed what some analysts had already suspected, North Korea actually fired its older Hwasong-15 ICBM which was tested in 2017 and exaggerated Mr. Kim's weapons achievements by falsely claiming a successful Hwasong-17 launch. Mr. Kim badly needs to strengthen his diplomatic leverage with the United States and South Korea and a successful new launch may have helped. But more important, South Korean officials said, Mr. Kim used the launch and a crude, fake presentation of video and photos to demonstrate his infallible leadership to the people of North Korea. The country will celebrate the 110th birthday of Kim Il-sung, Mr. Kim's grandfather and North Korea's founder, next month. With his economy hobbled by international sanctions and the pandemic, Mr. Kim has often used such occasions to focus on his growing nuclear capabilities and to show off his power. When North Korea first unveiled the Hwasong-17 during a military parade in October 2020, it appeared to be the largest mobile launcher ICBM the world had ever seen. Some analysts suspected that, Unlike the Hwasong-15, which is built to carry a single warhead, the Hwasong-17 appeared to be designed to carry multiple nuclear warheads. A successful launch would have marked a significant milestone in North Korea's ICBM program. North Korea began testing the Hwasong-17 this year. On February 27 and March 5, it tested the missile's first stage booster rocket and other components but not at full range. In its third test, conducted on March 16, something went wrong, and the rocket exploded in the sky near Pyongyang, the capital, shortly after liftoff. The explosion was visible to the naked eye, as its debris rained down through the sky over Pyongyang, Ha Deku, a South Korean lawmaker, told reporters this week. Pyongyang citizens were shocked and it could even have led to some instability. South Korean officials said Mr. Kim likely used the successful test flight of the Hwasong-15 disguised as the Hwasong-17 on March 24 as damage control. Now that Pyongyang citizens had witnessed the failure, they needed to send a message of success and do so quickly in order to prevent rumors from spreading and to ensure regime stability, the defense ministry said in its parliamentary report. So they launched a Hwasong-15 model whose reliability had been confirmed through a test in 2017. The Hwasong-17 is bigger and longer than the Hwasong-15. Its first stage booster rocket has four nozzles, while the Hwasong-15 has only two. But Mr. Kim's propagandist said it didn't combine video footage and photos from the earlier Hwasong-17 tests with those from the Hwasong-15 last Thursday creating the illusion of a successful Hwasong-17 launch, South Korean officials said. While unsuspecting North Koreans may have been fooled, the alleged fake array did not escape the scrutiny of South Korean defense officials and private analysts. The weather around Pyongyang last Thursday was overcast, but some photos of the test released by North Korean media showed a fine and clear day. The test took place in the afternoon but in some photos and video footage, the shadow of Mr. Kim at the test site suggests that he was inspecting a test in the morning. All three previous Hwasong-17 tests, including the one that failed, took place in the morning. The engine burn time and trajectory data from the test also hinted at a Hwasong-15 rather than the Hwasong-17, South Korean officials said. And lastly, satellite and other data indicated that the missile had two nozzles, not four, officials said. Hwasong-17, 
The North's latest missile launch still violated UN resolutions and the country's self-imposed moratorium on ICBM tests. It also demonstrated significant technological advances. The missile soared 3,852 miles into space, compared with an altitude of 2,796 miles that the Hwasong-15 achieved in its last test in November 2017. The main question appears to be whether their weapon was an improved and more powerful version of the Hwasong-15 or the same Hwasong-15 equipped with more fuel and a lighter payload allowing it to fly higher. We should not pay too much attention to whether this was a Hwasong-15 or 17, said Kim Dong-yup, an expert on the North Korean military I don't think you can generate such flight data by just reducing the payload or using a little more fuel. This clearly marks a technological advance. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.